Hey guys, this is Rick. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thought I'd just do a quick hydroponics update. It is now day 100, I believe. I'll double check that, but I think that's right. Now, not a huge amount has happened since we last spoke. Um, it's like Mother Nature has come in and just flicked the off switch and uh, very little has happened. Um, these tomato plants in the last video were pretty much the same sort of size. They might have been a tiny bit smaller, but they've hardly done anything. They have thickened out a little bit, and uh, I've just noticed radishes. We've actually got a couple of radishes that are um, starting to look sort of radish-like. But apart from that, uh, very little has changed. Apart from this coriander, the coriander's come on quite well. Uh, but I actually tasted it the other day and it was disgusting. So um, wh whether that's you know just because uh, I don't like coriander or whether that's, this particular plant is disgusting, I don't know. So um, very little happening at the moment. I was pondering on scrapping it and um, doing something else. I'll, basically, I'll show you my garden. I've just been out there all day today. I've basically just cleared my entire garden because I've got huge, huge plans for the garden this year. My, my challenge this year is to um, see how much food I can grow um, in just that little bit of garden space I got there. It's not a very big garden, it's only about uh, what, 15 foot long by about 12 foot deep. And uh, I've, I've just started a quite a big website now, um, up and coming, called uh, containergardeningforfood.com. And it's going to be basically plotting my quest, if you like. Uh, to try to become self-sufficient even though I've got a very very small garden and uh, what I was I was pondering whether or not to just sort of scrap this and actually use the space to grow tomatoes actually inside the conservatory here but I'm going to use that space over there instead and um, I will continue at least for another year just to see how we do in the summer because obviously the good light's starting to come in now so hopefully things will start to pick up and things are going to start to get a little bit more interesting. Uh, the French bean, um, I don't know if you remember the last time, the runner bean actually just died off and the French bean, that's only gone like that in the last week. It has, it basically grew up that tall and then it just sort of sat there, um, literally for the last sort of uh, six weeks or, or however many weeks it was since I did my last hydroponics uh, thing. And it's only in the last sort of week or so that it's, it's actually started sort of dying. So. But yeah, not a, not a huge amount to report at the moment. Hopefully, I mean obviously 100 days, you should have sort of tomatoes growing on there after 100 days, but, but um, it really is all down to the light. I think, hang on, look, I've actually got uh, some little buds on there. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, not, there's not anything on that one, but there's definitely some sort of bud thing going on there. Oh, that's interesting, I'll keep an eye on that. But. Uh, other than that, like I say, not a lot of progress, but the light is starting to come back now. The last two months, the light has just been very, very poor. So hopefully the next hydroponics update, probably in about a month's time, uh, should sort of start bearing some, uh, some better news. So anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, no doubt I'll be having lots more um, video garden, vid yeah, garden videos uh, coming up soon um, because this is going to be a, a big, big project for me this year. So um, I'm going to be, uh, well, any of the videos that I make, I'm probably going to be featuring on my um, containergardeningforfood.com website. So uh, I'll be putting those up on the Rick Van Man channel. Um, anyway, right, I'll shut up now. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you um, in the next video.